call on live. Get this loaded up. Figure out our pathing on points of interest. So, welcome back, everybody, to more Witcher 3 uh, Blood and Wine DLC. We're going to work on finishing up the points of interest and then, well, doing the story. There's those. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just head this way. Double check. Could make it a way worse fight, but oh, I see that I need to replenish stuff. There you go. <laughs> Man, I got a lot of potatoes. Guess we'll eat some potatoes. All right. Of 
poor guy, just flying around, living his life. Saw me, thought I was an easy target. Now he's dead. Shame. Such a shame. Fruit. Mm -hmm. Goats. Now done. And we're running, running, and running, 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 running. I do that sometimes. Where it's just like, no horse, just run. I don't know why. Just a preference, I guess. A uh, cave? But yeah, I was right. A little like cavey thingy. Grease stand notes. Hm. All right. Coach, buddy, how you doing? I hope I didn't leave you on anywhere on Savory. Faster. Yeah, buddy, I know. You're, you, I know what you're doing. Going fast. Don't have to get upset. I just remember the banter from the mission where you get to talk to Roach. Like, run faster. What do you think I'm doing? Alright, buddy. I'm going to leave you right <clears throat> here. You stay safe. Vineyard infestation. Okay. Power me.
here. Okay, Roach just phased through a wall. Got it. Not even going to question it. Teleport from anywhere in the world. It's true. So. Hey guys. <laughs> Just quick drink this healing potion. Some shoring of the walls of the road probably have some uh, 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 erosion issues that cause like landslides and stuff. Peacock. This is. Oh, never mind. Vengeance will be mine in this life or in death to come. Ooh. Apply a spectre oil. I am Maximus Nonius Macronus. Find the stash in his house, not...
casket, huh? Just a thing to find. Next one. I thought this was gonna be a Hans because of the Okay. I saw you. Yeah. Fucking sad. Right. Good thing I didn't call Roach. I would have felt bad. I'm like, hey, buddy, I need a ro Oh, God, fuck a giant sand beads. Carol, what did you get me into? I didn't mean to. Bandits, unsavory bunch. Okay. Hi. Not good. Adios, you dumb idiot. We'll fight around this barrel and this barrel of explosives. Get them! Ah! Get them 
Key required. Oh, hey, more people. Hi, do you have the key to the cage outside? Because I really need to free this guy. No? You're not helpful. Is there another guy back here? Hello? Anybody else? Anybody? Like your, your boss? Boss up here? Hello? Hmm. No, no he's not. Okay, so. Who has the key? Free me with your I know, but I'm just I don't think these bandits were as organized as I thought they would Really? You safe my life, I thank you. Should you need something, find me at the cockatrice. Alright. Night for hire. Sweet side quest. We're not here to do side quests at the moment. We're trying to finish out these points of interest. Then we'll do whatever side quests pop up. Shield sword. Mm -hmm. We are on a mission. Soon. Finish this. Basically, if I finish Witcher, then I can focus on Shining Force 2. Then I can finish Shining Force 2. And then... I'll be in a whole new game. side quests we do are treasure side quests that are found through points of interest. And if we're going in the water, always drink killer whale.
never know when you're going to just have to sit there and spam your crossbow. No, I did want aim. Auto aim. Alright, alright, alright. Shipwreck. That's what we're looking for. I mean, I'll always search everything, so. Okay. The last point of interest. That one spot by the Tucson prison. And then we will go on to doing the side quests that we just picked up. Oh, I. L <laughs> it's not that I got a new quest, it's the fact that I got an update to the quest where it's like. completed saving all the knights that he asked me to keep an eye out for. So it's like, all right, yeah, let's, let's do this. Too early. Yes, wrong bridge. I need that bridge. I'm stuck in a bush. Doesn't normally happen. Roach. To the prison. Killer well activated.
spot. Where's the key? Oh, there's a bunch of dead bodies in here. Maybe it's on one of these. Ah! Kill the whale. All right. Okay, so we've been in that area before, so let's get alright. Let's get Roach, we'll ride around. Go for there. <laughs> Those guards probably should be dead. That guy just rode his horse between all of us. Mm hmm. It would be the Witcher. Good times. Always good times. Gonna reapply a killer well. There is an air pocket in here. Awesome. <laughs> I love good air pockets. Secondary quest. Just head back to the prison and use the prison uh, fast travel sign. You want to fight those drowners? No.
guards patrolling around the prison camp. There. They want to pay me. I'll do it. Trust your pathing. Because I don't know this city that well, so it's like, yeah, I. Greetings, Knight. I've heard reports of feats of great bravery. Hmm. Thus, please accept this reward for your dedication, sir. Wouldn't mind a glance at the books, ones you're willing to... Got stuff to sell, so. Not mean to read that, but okay. There's a perfumery right there. A bottle of wine is enough for two. Nice tune. Have I gone absolutely cuckoo? Selling all dirt cheap. Yours. Salutations. No, buddy. Need you to buy some things off of me. Huh? 
Alright. Use my kits that I don't use. <laughs> All right, on to the actual main quest of the DLC. Now that we have done, as far as I know. My good sir. Need a bit of grooming. this one yep. my time's up so long It's no trouble. I have not yet laid my head to rest. As to her illustrious highness, I fear you will have to wait until the sun has risen again. Make yourself at home. Milton mentioned you'd been to Corpo <laughs> Bianco to see the beast's victim. Learn anything new from the body? Well, since we have to wait anyway, steal yourself for a long story. <laughs> I did all this shit around here after looking at the body. And how is it we passed from your account of the investigation reminiscing about the succubus? Because those were good times. And we were younger. Always nice to talk about that. Look, sun's up. And let's tarry no more. Our enlightened highness is sure to have arrived at the two in the grounds by now. <laughs> Let us go. Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? Close, but not quite. As we'll soon see. Someone's gonna fight a Shale Maw? With only some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down? What effort is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Dangerous. Bells on its tail aren't enough. I saw the spectacle of the sort of Yorina in Nunyo. There, a knight nice came with a Shelmar with bells on its tail. <laughs> might have gotten lucky. Shelmar might have been lame. Who knows? Only a witcher has a real chance against a healthy Shelmar. And that's not even every witcher. Besides which, releasing a monster that dangerous in front of a crowd, plain irresponsible. Who's going to fight the beast? <laughs> Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he'd promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Let's go. Why do I feel I'm going to be fighting this? Dude. 
stupid motherfucker. I dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. Well, let's see how this boy does. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Bomb I have left on. Fight to the beast. Its pants are bound. <laughs> the Shelma lies defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! It suffered enough. Sorry, bud. I don't measure those things. Fuck it. Vicious. The fight is done! Grace be the victors! They're not one of those monsters that's like, uh, 
like, yeah, I'm just gonna let it live. It's like, Guillaume. The lad came damned close to dying. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly pains you. She approaches. Geralt, we must talk. Vivian, you shall talk later in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. <laughs> we are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. Your grace, shale mars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts for mere glory since time immemorial. True. Guillaume suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises, but in return gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. Mm -hmm. What about the crowd? Say the shale mar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt. Though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, we would remind you your services <laughs> have been retained, and as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated for completing another task altogether. Your Grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But whatever could he be? Come, we must find him. <sighs> Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> uh. <sighs> yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheels and drawn, hanged, and quartered. <laughs> Dandelion, you motherfucker. The very man we would entrust with these tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace, Witcher. Greetings. Sorry to have to tell you, but the guardsmen handling the last victim's body. I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corvo Bianca. Nope. Was it the beast? No, a Bruxa. A kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt insinuates nothing of the sort. We must listen to him attentively. So it's been sloppy, it's just... I examined the body of Witcher. the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place, that's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without sure, an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it, nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. 
Are the legends true? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise? It's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and the sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. But Corvo Bianco, isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery has bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised <laughs> for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. How did it start? Who was the first victim? Crespi was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. Okay. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. He did not grant it. He could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. Hmm. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. Oh, okay. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Lack's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, Yo, well, kept yeah. to safe areas. All right. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses criminals fear the beast telling in a way oh. Take what you've excluded the possibility that ramon died at the hands of these bandits do you believe me an amateur not hands but claws killed ramon dulac the wound was deep clean his body was found in a gutter dressed in nightshirt and cap a pillow placed under his head and his sword replaced by a bed warmer ramon dulac a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady hmm. dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. So, first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges. Enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. <laughs> he made a veritable fortune it's going. in the grain trade. Oh. Palmerin even nicknamed Finally him Sir the Della main quest. Found uh, a coin pouch on his body. Other than that, Contained florins much. dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the Empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under How extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, <laughs> has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. 
These were Knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if the Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Five virtues. Why are they so important to your knights? All right. Strange okay, question. Uh, All right, cool. forgive me. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Toussaint, we believe men of low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, a knight vows to demonstrate <laughs> throughout his life honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Hmm. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At hmm. the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunts shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me, something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac formed the knightly team. It was years ago, but. The... They were a team? They were close friends, tightly knit, <laughs> and as such, earned the trust of our father, the Duke. We often witnessed him turn to them with delicate matters. Later, their paths diverged. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. It's a leave, I'm sure. Your Grace, we need to find Milton immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare. Hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game, at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. Either the beast will strike sooner, or we'll move away. You, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my night, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will <laughs> not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses. Okay. Your Grace! <gasps> <laughs> I've seen the clip from that scene. Your Highness, I... Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. Onward! <laughs> hey! That is silk! Be careful! Give it to me! Hmm. <laughs> Hey, 
place seems right like at home in the saddle. must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix plate. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. Meaning we need to find those things too. We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. While well, I nab the phoenix egg. That will be quickest. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Gareth. It's not a real fish. <laughs> Look there. Towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. It turns around to over there. Look. The golden fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. Ah, okay. How do I get down from here? Night, love, and wine. They say a great no half hearted measure. Is it one word to call a state courageous or coward? What other part of the state would one have to find? <laughs> Perhaps an apple will work, or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister, were you still a virgin. Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try this. Hey, folks, gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? Game's not likely to tempt a unicorn. Crispy apple. Should like that like any other damn horse. are huge. Be better off on horseback. Scars. They say a great deal about you. Golden fish should be easy to spot once I'm under. Last golden whale. What the place 
Francis? Did someone just dive in the water? Perhaps that's the way to do it. Sure, if you're a peasant. That looks gold. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. King Cormorant Sire, accept this offering we bring. Prithee, <laughs> cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course yeah, that place, blah, blah, blah. in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. A key. Why, you bomb stretch? He ruins the game! Disgraceful. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care. Hey, unicorn. <laughs> Here in Beauclair, all's right and fair. Da 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 da. Good care of yourself. If you please, Your Grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt! At last. Got a key and a clue. I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a crone, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Begin with a groan, hollowed out with ease. Starting with what heads hard cheese. Why, it's greenhouse. Hmm, pretty clever. And it sounds right to me. <laughs> there are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks. And the key to it looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse it is then. Let's go. Just in case the beast is there. <laughs> also to have the power to be like, hey, Queen, wait. Oh!
Almost dead. Oh, this poor guy that's in the boat. Okay, I probably get dumped out in the water. to you maybe it did but you may keep it I've a new one I do not know you I've done you no harm yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me now you pursue me why you've killed four innocent people at least and you how many innocents have you cut down plenty even more of the guilty, though. You're next. Hmm. I think not. You see, I have something to do still. More murders? Just one. <sighs> not counting yours. <laughs> 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 you are to stay where you are. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No, he's my friend. <sighs> Regis, yes, Carol, it's me. Regis, I, you all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. <laughs> How's this even possible? Last I saw you, we... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In <laughs> somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak form, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. 
Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. So you being here, it's no coincidence? Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Tetla. I fear he's become entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? That was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, hmm. a legend was born. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Not much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Hm. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Hmm. Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Huh. Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. Oh. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beau Claire is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. 
Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. sure. <laughs> Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Dechlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mela Shays Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. All right, we just catch you later, buddy. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late or the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. <clears throat> Sirs, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. The one knight that saw the smoke is probably going to be suspicious. Alright. Door? No. Door. Meditate to replenish. Here in Beauclair, all's right and fair. The beast, you a spy. Tell the commander, be spry. No two ways about it. As always, side quests before I continue the main quest. I'm sorry, don't leave stones unturned. It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant. Though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny <laughs> it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic and knows no one she could turn to for help. <laughs> Why did she think she might be cursed? Don't turn over the stone. <laughs> you must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. Hm. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, 
and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Huh. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. <laughs> Notice any other strange just behavior? Guessing. Additional symptoms? <laughs> no. I'm just Vivian's guessing, Vivian's avoided man. me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk. That she's wanted to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. Hmm. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. All right, all right, tell this me about this tourney. Story. How's it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize, and more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship, and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. I'm not gonna ask for anything else. Whatever, is re whatever the reward is, it'll be fine. Fine. I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride, and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ. Require skills you don't usually apply. Races, above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Target practice. Marksmanship. Feel I need to do some shooting. Come with me. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. I hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. <laughs> Hit the red targets! Once more? Yeah. Glad they give it another try. Once more? Done enough shooting. 
Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Let's do some riding. Roach will like that. Excellent idea. Come with me. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Go, buddy. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How is it a race at all, then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. Are we, are we going by foot? If it's... it's outside the training grounds. It's a long walk, bud. You're not supposed to be straining yourself, man. Just saying. All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. Fuck. During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points. For now, you may ride unperturbed by those matters. Come on, Roach. Timing sucks. Good to know I can hit it from behind. Slow now, whoa. So, have you had enough, or do you wish to ride again? Yeah. No harm in going again. Practice makes perfect, even for witchers. Come on. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Give it another go. I can set out more dummies. Had enough. I've already rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? Combat. Be nice to swing. Do some footwork. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own methods. 
Rainfarn, for instance, fights Halberd in hand. Come with me. You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. Wrong arena. It is right and fitting, Witcher. The knight's codex commands constant improvement. No mercy! Come on, come closer. I expected you to do well, but not that well. Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Until suddenly she is very un. I'm my own master. Oh, of the in front of Greetings. Good day to the new people. I'm trying not to knock into you like an asshole. I'm my own master with a bottle in front of me. Oh, I can't call it all. Unbelievable. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? <laughs> Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witcher's Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which. Oh, I know I that speak. one. I. That's one of my favorite endings to yeah. a book. Those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. Graphics of four horn. That one I don't manage to dig that up. Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. <laughs> that is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Lanthe oh. of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. I forgot. That's actually right. Yeah, Geralt. I'm Geralt. Not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. 
Who mentions using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation <laughs> in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. I'm gonna let you Yon go. told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with boats or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena, crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Okay. Convenient. Prize. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. Her illustrious highness hmm. had it brought all the way from Nazaire. Okay. And vows. You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. <laughs> Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? I vow on the love of my lady, Yennefer of Vengerberg, to respect the chivalric virtues. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. A sign here, please, then fill out these forms. <laughs> that is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Well, good luck. Uh, d d no. No. I don't like this armor idea. <laughs> I like my armor. <sighs> Gross. I know, buddy. It doesn't feel right. Grody, grody, grody. Dog's nipples. Get them out of there. That's fine. Okay. All right. However, though, I do work tomorrow, so. so we're going to find somebody to raid. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> so. I'm going to raid Wrathful Remy, who is playing a classic. The Legend of Dragoon. So. 
I will be back tomorrow with more co-op with Jedi. With Divinity. Oh, work our way to finishing that as well. So, I'll catch all you guys later. Have a good night.